This short video will show you how to synthesize the organic dye indigo. The reaction is between 2-nitrobenzaldehyde and acetone and occurs best in the presence of a strong base. Put the 2-nitrobenzaldehyde in an appropriate flask. With swirling, add the acetone. Note that the solid will dissolve. When the solid has dissolved, add the sodium hydroxide a little at a time. Almost immediately you should notice the solution turn dark. This is a sure sign that indigo is forming. Since the reaction is exothermic, you should also notice the bottom of the flask getting warm. Allow the mixture to sit for five minutes or so at room temperature to allow the reaction to come to completion. The next step is to separate the solid indigo from the solution. This is done using vacuum filtration. Assemble a vacuum filtration apparatus. Secure the base of a Buchner funnel into the flask. Attach the top of the funnel. Attach the vacuum tubing to the sidearm flask and to the vacuum outlet. Take care to not attach the vacuum tubing to a water or a gas outlet. Put a piece of filter paper in the funnel and begin drawing air through it. Wet the filter paper to help it seal against the funnel. Pour the reaction mixture into the center of the filter paper. Rinse the flask with a small amount of water and pour that into the funnel as well. You will notice that the filtrate is very dark. This is because not all of the indigo was retained on the filter paper. Some of the indigo slipped around the sides of the filter paper and some of the indigo particles were so small they passed right through the filter paper. You can increase your yield by refiltering the filtrate. Continue drawing air through the funnel until the indigo appears to be dry. Finally, remove the filter paper and transfer the solid indigo to an appropriate container.